Hey, what's going on, guys? I'm going to talk to you today about um, how we should pray for Princess Boothalazy, the wife of Prince Mongo Suthu Boothalazy. Um, she passed away. Um, she has recently passed away due to a long-term illness. Um, and they, her and Prince Boothalazy were re are really good. Were really good people, and Bo Prince Boothalazy is still a very good person. And Princess Boothalazy has been received by God. She is in heaven now. This is what Prince Boothalazy believes, and quite frankly, this is what I believe as well. They have, they had eight kids, and they've had to bury five of them. Uh, and now Prince Boothalazy has to bury his wife of sixty seven years. They've been married for fifty two years, and um, Nelson Mandela was very fond of Princess Boothalazy. He thought she was a good and genuine woman. And that she uh, believed in peace and reconciliation. She didn't believe in hatred. She didn't believe in bitterness. Um, Mangu Sutu Buthalazi was the same way. When he organized the Nkatha Freedom Party, he um, wanted to overturn the apartheid system. And he wanted to do it peacefully. And he wanted to do it um, with cooperation from whites and reconciling with whites. Which is what Mandela at the end of the day, wanted as far as reconciling with whites. But he took more of a militant approach to ending apartheid. Um... But um, a lot of people in the ANC did not want reconciling and cooperation with whites. Um, but Mongo Sutu with the Lazy and the majority of his Nkatha Freedom Party did. So, um, prayers for the Booth Lazy family. They request privacy at this moment. Um, that's what one of the living sons had said. And um, because Booth the Lazy was a Zulu prince, he could have had multiple wives and could have engaged in polygamy, but he chose not to because he loved his wife that much. So, hope everybody's doing well. Take care. God bless and bye-bye. Bye-bye.